Yo, 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 what's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy, Chain Wayne. Welcome to the blog. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right, y'all. This is for the ladies, man. I want to talk about Cardi B, man. So Cardi B, she's basically going off on the internet, basically dissing Offset or whatever the case may be, right? So basically, this was going on. Late Tuesday evening, Cardi shared her opinions about Offset, telling her followers and her fans that she wished the worst on this man, right? And then basically she declared that she never hated somebody so much and she encouraged those thirsty females that they can basically have him and take her off her hands, right? So this is my whole thing, right? I get it. I'm not gonna read all of this, but that's just to sum it up. I get why you upset that I mean y'all y'all marriage didn't work out, y'all getting a divorce, y'all had a family together, he cheated on you multiple times or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, that's still the father of your kids. So I don't think you should you should want something bad to happen to him. You get what I'm saying? Now, you cannot like the person, you feel what I'm saying, for, for whatever reasons. But I don't feel like you should be like a bitter baby mom towards him and just go off on random rants. Because that's that, that, that in my opinion, is looking like you still care. You get what I'm saying? If you don't care, then it's like, why even keep speaking on it? Like, I get it. You got played. You, you're hurt. You're emotional. I get it. But you don't got to run to the internet and just throw that man under the bus like that, bro. Like, that's y'all still got kids together. You're still going to have to deal with this man for the rest of your life. Now, it's just funny how, like, you get what I'm saying? She's saying all that. I do think it's funny. You get what I'm saying? But I, I just say, I just feel like she's just doing this out of hurt. And I do possibly think that they could, might get back together. Because this ain't the first time that they didn't went through some stuff like this. And like I say, it's always in the public eye. So we be knowing what be going on. Well, we know what they allow us to see, but I don't really feel like, I don't really feel like she should, she should want anything bad to happen to that man. Like, cause the stuff she was saying was mad disrespectful. But like I say, hurt people, they want people to hurt. So you're basically going off of your hurt and you want to get a reaction out of him. Like you get what I'm saying? Like, so like my thing is if like if you gonna move on, move on. Now they they remember this whole rumor with the she was sleeping with the with the other guy allegedly. I I, I don't know if that's true or not. But I mean if you move if you move on, it shouldn't even it shouldn't even phase you. You get what I'm saying? Like and it's gonna take a while for her to move on. So I get it, but I just don't feel like you gotta just go into a rant every chance you get and just throw this man under the bus. Cause I mean people gonna see for themselves. And at the end of the day. Women are still going to deal with Offset just because he got a bag. So you can sit there and say he's a narcissist, he's trifling, he's for the streets, he's a cheater. Females, they don't be caring about that. Especially the thirsty ones, the ones they just trying to just be around. You get what I'm saying? For the clout and the fame and all that. But Cardi B, she 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 grew out of that. She passed that. So I get it. You tired of being hurt. You tired of him lying to you. You tired of him cheating on you and all that other stuff. So I definitely get it. But I just don't really feel like it's a need to just run to the internet and just bash the man every chance you get. Because, like, I was looking at this stuff, y'all, and it was just like, sheesh. Like, who's spitting your cereal, sweetheart? Like, it ain't, it ain't, it, it's deep, but it ain't that deep. Like, you get what I'm saying? She said, I truly hate this dirty-ass narcissist piece of shit. And his family and friends never check him. That's why he always going to be the same piece of shit person. Well, I get that. You get what I'm saying? Some people, they just got to grow up. Maybe he just ain't grow up yet. You get what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't ready to really be tied down. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it sounded good. But at the end of the day, he still got stuff in his system that he ain't get out. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like, that's how the game go. Like, I'm sorry you, I'm sorry she had to go through that. Like, I'm not I'm not, I'm not, not sticking up for Offset because it, it, it's messed up. Especially, like, when you marry, bro. Like, you still be for God. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're 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 devoting your your to spending the rest of your life with this person and then you just you just mess up the church's money because you just can't keep your dick in your pants i get it you get what i'm saying but the fact that like you really hate this man that bad or you just saying that just, to, just are you saying it to get a reaction out of him or you saying it so people can feel sorry for you like or this is how you really feel like that's that's, that's this is what i'll be wanting to ask you get what i'm saying because like breakups are tough yes they are depending on how much time you had invested if y'all y'all was married and it didn't work out it's tough but at the end of the day it's you you can go see a therapist to deal with your hurt you can talk to family members you can go to church speak to somebody the, the internet is not one of the places to run to because it's just like it's a hit or a miss you're gonna have people that's gonna back you up then it's gonna have then you're gonna have people that's not liking what you're saying and your opinion is very valid 
But at the end of the day, I just don't feel like everything should be posted on the internet. That's basically just what I'm summing up to it. If you really hate this man, all right, that is what it is. Just co-parent, and that's it. Don't be the bitter baby mom. Like, don't be the bitter baby mom. Because, like, that's just not cool. And then when you, as your kids get older, and then you, you, you get out of the hurt, the bitterness goes away. You shouldn't even carry it like that. But, um, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And I'm out.